This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Hello and welcome to the Noble Leaders League. I'm shot like we are in the third division today. This is the game between Frederick and Elizabeth. They are neighbors in the table. Frederick number 9 with 11 points. Elizabeth number 10 with 9 points. Frederick is in 3-1-1 form. He did win at Darius the first round 10 and is undefeated in 4 games. Elizabeth is in 1-0-4 form. Lost hosting Montezuma round 10 and is looking looking a lot worse at the moment. Starting positions we see here, a resource bubbles on, Frederick starts here in the middle of the map on that starting continent next to some wheat, there is sugar, there are also two fish resources, some dice, over here is some gems and another fish. This is a very long southern starting continent. It starts here in the middle and then it goes west and it crosses the date line and comes out here in the east for the starting position of Elizabeth. She is being made light blue in this game because both of them are white or white grayish. She starts next to a river. There is iron, some cows, spices. There is more iron up here and some fish down there. So let's get this game rolling to see which one of these wants it the most. Of course, Frederick versus Elizabeth is always interesting. One city each. And especially since Frederick is only one point away from the playoffs, that means a win could put him in a po very good position here, but he has to overcome Elizabeth first. Three cities for Frederick, two cities Elizabeth, three cities Elizabeth now as well. Turn 91, four cities, Frederick is first, two cities, five, five to three, six to three, Frederick is six to three in city count at the moment. He has gone seven to three and Elizabeth is only on three cities still, eight to three, Frederick is expanding extremely much faster than Elizabeth at the moment, eight cities to four, this could be important early game expansion for Frederick. Nine cities to five at the moment, and he's going theology already. Elizabeth is on civil service. Nine cities to six. It is uh, a little bit closer now as Elizabeth has a few cities as well, but 10 to 7, that is still an advantage. 11 to 7 now for Frederick. Turn 177, and he has been better at expanding early on. Both of them getting machinery though. Elizabeth on the guilds next, Frederick is getting horseback riding and alphabet first, 13 cities Frederick, 9 cities Elizabeth. The question now, Frederick is weaker than Elizabeth, he has more score, he is weaker militarily but he has more cities and he's going for guilds, while Elizabeth is now going philosophy and stuff, 14 cities to 11, paper, optics, Elizabeth is taking fast, going education next, but now she is also up to 13 cities. Frederick, 14 cities, Elizabeth is up to 13, so she has almost caught up, engineering for Frederick now, and Elizabeth, did she get, uh, I heard something, was that liberal Elizabeth didn't pay attention to what she was taking for just a few seconds there, and uh, drama for Frederick, and now going paper, Elizabeth is on nationalism, Frederick on 15 cities, Elizabeth on 13, Elizabeth is pleased with Frederick, but now Elizabeth has slightly more score as well, even though they are pretty equal in score. Frederick is going astronomy now, and we see Elizabeth, she is building uh, cities in the new world up in top there, in the east, east, northeast. So she's up to 15 cities, Frederick is on 17, Elizabeth up to 16, and we haven't seen any Frederick cities in the new world on top there, so maybe Elizabeth is going to take the north, let's wait and see, Elizabeth is on rifling by the way, and Frederick is getting nationalism, turn 272 now. 17 cities each before Frederick settled another city up in the northwest and now he's up to 18 cities and have the lead again. But Elizabeth is quickly up to 18 cities as well. 18 each now. Frederick is getting education. Elizabeth is getting democracy and Elizabeth is friendly towards Frederick. 21 cities Elizabeth. 19 cities Frederick. Turn 286, 287. And Elizabeth on scientific method, constitution for Frederick. And Elizabeth has more score. She has been building up her empire now with 21 cities. Going towards communism next. 22 cities, 224 Elizabeth. And we are closing in on turn 300. 22 to 21 is the city count. Elizabeth still friendly with Frederick. If Frederick can take advantage of that, I don't know. 
This is a close race. Frederick is down to 0.6 the strength of Elizabeth though, so he is a lot weaker. That could be a thing that is negative for Frederick, but 23 cities Elizabeth, 22 cities Frederick Elizabeth is getting biology going medicine as well. Frederick down to 0.6 the strength and he is going democracy, 23 cities each. He has taken that continent up northwest while Elizabeth has taken that that is up northeast. And there are spies on the scene. Frederick is getting gunpowder, going replaceable parts and Elizabeth is going railroads, 24 cities to 23. And combustion for Elizabeth while Frederick is going towards rifling. That was expected really. Turn 336 now, 24 cities each. Elizabeth is getting on towards assembly line. Frederick is getting chemistry next. And we do have the privateers on the scene here. 24 cities each. Elizabeth on electricity. Elizabeth with a little bit more score. And there is Frederick's 25th city up in the Arctic. Turn 350 is almost here, there it is, and 25 cities to 24 favorite Frederick, but now Elizabeth is on industrialism as well. And going there, getting it in two turns, Frederick down to 0.6 the strength of Elizabeth, he has been like that for some time now. That could lead to Elizabeth getting tempted to attack if she is stronger militarily. Let's see if that happens. But she is pleased that since Sushi has been incorporated, so she does have, I think that was Elizabeth. So she has uh, corporations now. 24 cities to 26 as Frederick uh, establishes yet another settlement here. He is going towards railroads, Elizabeth. She is going towards artillery, turn 375 now. There could be a chance that this is going to end up a space race from here. Let's see if that happens, but Frederick is so much weaker that Elizabeth, maybe Elizabeth, could think about attacking if she could only get herself down from uh, pleased to cautious. That could be a danger, so we have to pay attention to that green smiley face of Elizabeth and uh, creative constructions. I think that was Frederick. Frederick is going physics, by the way. And mining ink for Elizabeth, and she is on flight while Frederick is getting physics, and she has rock and roll as well. And now she is friendly towards Frederick. Frederick on electricity. Turn 394. Elizabeth has ended her golden age. Turn 395. Now we have to pay attention to things like culture and Apollo programs being built and stuff like that. Frederick built Vashai and Elizabeth is on robotics, radio for Frederick, 26 cities to 24 and that's the way it's going to stay unless we get some cultural conversions of cities. And we see Frederick has not been starting to run the slider but Elizabeth completes the Broadway. And there is some creative constructions. And uh, Frederick, uh, with the creative constructions, that does give a lot of culture. And Elizabeth has completed the Apollo program. Elizabeth has completed the Apollo program, so she could be going space here. And now Frederick is going culture. Frederick, oh, that was only for a few turns, wasn't it? One turn, maybe. You had 70% of the cultural slider. Have to pay attention to that as well. <laughs> there is so much to pay attention to. I'm bound to miss important stuff. Elizabeth completes a life support. Elizabeth has completed the life support. And Frederick, he, well, he is not going culture anymore, is he? Well, there he is going culture for a while. Uh, but not now. Now he's upgrading units, probably. And he's tacking, he's still tacking. So there is that Elizabeth is going for a fusion, is it? Or is that fission? <laughs> I can't really tell, I don't remember. 25 cities Elizabeth, 26 cities Frederick. And Frederick, what's your next tech going to be like? It's liberalism, well that's a way too late. Elizabeth is on composites. Turn 426. Let's see if Elizabeth can get this spaceship off the ground in time to win a game here, Frederick. He is trying his best, fascism, but I feel like he is a little bit behind unless he is going culture. He could be going culture. Elizabeth has completed the cockpit at least. And civilized Eurus is giving culture to cities, so Frederick could, in uh, theory, be going culture even though he doesn't use the slider. Sid Sushi has expanded into Bremen, Conrad constructions into Essen, and turn 433. 
and some civilized Yurida bringing more culture and stuff. Frederick is down to 0.5 the strength of Elizabeth. He is going towards Rockerty, but now he goes. Well, he did want to go culture for a few turns there. He goes culture now and again, but is it enough to win a cultural victory or will Elizabeth win space race? We have 63 turns left. Elizabeth needs to build her spaceship parts and lift off. That is important. Frederick going for flight. And again, I think he had one or maybe two turns in with the cultural slider. Is that enough to get his legendary cities up and running? Turn uh, 444, which means we are now almost 50. Elizabeth has completed the docking bay. We have a little bit more than 50 turns left of the game. Elizabeth is closing in on her spaceship. She has completed two engines as well and one casing there. Once she has completed the casings, I don't really know what, how many parts she has left, but she is taking towards a stealth and Frederick is on the culture Frederick is on the culture and the borders have expanded of uh, uh, Leipzig Elizabeth has completed the spaceship casing this is a cultural attempt by Frederick for sure now Elizabeth completes another casing and Frederick is on plastics but he is uh, spending all his commerce on culture so this is either going to be a Frederick cultural victory or, a, or an Elizabeth space race victory let's see what happens here there are spies on the scene and elizabeth is on future tech with 41 turns left of the game does she have enough spaceship parts has she launched already by maybe i don't think she has i haven't seen it she could have done it let's see if there are more parts coming our way more spaceship parts i haven't seen any more spaceship parts in a few turns maybe she has launched Without me watching, without me uh, catching it. 35 turns left of the game. And there are spies that have been thwarted. And the creative constructions. And Frederick is really going culture now. Getting 9000 culture per turn. Frederick could win this. Right under the nose of Elizabeth. It depends if she has launched or not. I haven't seen any more spaceship parts being uh, built. There she built a thruster. There she built a thruster. And another uh, spaceship casing. And Frederick has completed the Apollo program. But Elizabeth is almost done with her spaceship. But she hasn't launched yet. I haven't seen a launch. 27 turns left. If she can launch now. She builds another thruster. She needs to complete all of them. I don't know how many she lacks. And she has completed the spaceship thruster. She must be close to launching it now with 25 turns left. And Dortmund has achieved legendary culture, so Frederick has a legendary city, at least one. Maybe he has two, he could be having two. And Elizabeth has launched, Elizabeth has launched. Elizabeth completed the station chamber and she launched and she is going to win space if Frederick cannot reach legendary with his third city before she lands. Frederick, are you going to win culture or will Elizabeth win this race? Frederick, now is the time. To show us what you can do, 9,000, almost 10,000 culture per turn. Frederick, 17 turns left. 17 turns left. Let's see what messages comes on screen. I haven't seen more legendary cities. I haven't seen the victory yet. But Elizabeth must be close to landing at Alpha Centauri now. And Frederick, he is looking. And there is cultural victory. Frederick did it. Frederick did it. Frederick did it. Elizabeth is on her way. To Alpha Centauri, <laughs> and it is too bad I cannot see the launch date on the World History replay because this must have been really close. Turn 20, uh, uh, 2068 AD, turn 488, and Frederick did win the cultural victory while Elizabeth had the spaceship ready to land at Alpha Centauri and this was the closest thing ever. But congratulations Frederick then with the cultural victory. Oh, let's take a look at that replay now.
the game. Elizabeth did launch the spaceship. I believe she launched in 2056 because that is when she completed her last spaceship part, the stasis chamber. That was 12 turns before Frederick won the cultural victory, which means that I think Elizabeth may have launched with not enough thrusters, I believe. I believe thrusters are the thing that is delaying the spaceship. I will have to go and wait for the victory condition screen to figure that one out. Either way, there were no wars in the game. Let's uh, go take it. Well, before we take a look at the uh, stats, we can mention that Elizabeth did set the new record. She got Sid's Sushi in 1941, turn 361. The old record was turn 369, so, so she beat that with 8 turns. Now on to the graphs and the stats and the stuff. We see Frederick is the white grey, Elizabeth is the light blue. This is the score, this is the GNP and Frederick's cultural attempt towards the end there. Production, food, power, culture and then espionage and then we go to the demographics numbers and we see Frederick's numbers here to the left and Elizabeth's to the right 9699 that's very good 1007 is also very good 39 almost 40 million inhabitants towards the end of the game as well let's go top six cities and wonders then and here we go to the bottom and see that there were one BC wonder, that's Stonehenge in New York, and the rest came in the 80s. We see Frederick with the number one city, and number two, and then London is the third city for Elizabeth. Frederick has the fourth, and the fifth, and the sixth as well. The statistics then. Frederick built 26 cities, three religions, two golden ages, currently on 60 windmills, 54 towns and 24 lumber mills. He did build in his cities 26 granaries, 25 theatres, 24 lighthouses, courthouses and barracks, seven markets. Page down and see one hermitage at the bottom there. Let's go page down again and see that Versailles is the building at the bottom of the list. Current units then. 71 infantry, 26 workers, 21 cavalry is down to one great spy. He did train a total of 51 archers, 46 longbowmen, 37 Christian missionaries, down to 7 infantry. Page down and we see one grenadier at the bottom of the list of units trained. The kills, 4 privateers and the losses, 8 caravels and 1 galleon. Then we are off to Elizabeth. Her numbers, 25 cities built, 4 religions, 3 golden ages, currently on 50 windmills, 28 towns, 27 lumber mills. She did build in her cities 25 granaries and lighthouses, 24 factories and harbors, down to 9 laboratories. Let's go page down and see a Wall Street at the bottom there. Let's go page down again and see that one academy is the last building built in cities by Elizabeth. Current units then. 54 mechanized infantry, 31 marines, 25 workers down to one carrier. She trained a total of 41 workers, 37 mining ink executives, 36 SIDS sushi executives, 6 transports. Let's go page down and see 2 caravels there. Let's go page down again and see 1 maceman as the last unit on the list. Let's confirm. The kills, eight caravels and a galleon, and the losses, four privateers. So congratulations with the cultural win, Frederick. Let's go take a look at the victory condition screen then. Here we see Bremen has two points above the threshold for legendary 50,002 points, which means that Frederick won the cultural victory with Dortmund and Hamburg getting it earlier. Uh, Elizabeth wasn't even uh, trying as it seems, but she did complete the spaceship with one exception. She only had three out of five thrusters and she did take too long because of that. Had she built two more thrusters, she would have won the space race if she had managed to launch at the same date as she did. Elizabeth did build the Apostolic Palace. Let's go take a look at the city stand. Frederick has 26 of them. So let's sort by population. Here we are. 
Munich is the number one city pop 18, Hamburg 17, and then Dortmund, Bonn, Gelsenkirchen 16. They are happy, unhealthy, they have decent-ish food, they have very good base commerce, at least the top three cities there, and production is good as well. And we see all cities on the list because Bochum is the last one. We can just do that to confirm. Bochum is the last one. It is room for exactly 26, so we are going to take a look at Elizabeth's 25 cities then. To compare, Elizabeth, okay, she has 25 of them. And let's go here, sort by population, and there we see Canterbury, Pop 23, Liverpool as well, Birmingham and Richmond 22. They are happy, they are healthy, they have good food. They have a couple, 97, 110 in London, yeah, some good base commerce and production is good as well, building the Manhattan Project in 1530, etc. However, it was Frederick that did win the game. Spoiler alert! Results and updated league tables follows after this screen. Congratulations with that and we see the updated league tables. Frederick number 6 with 13 points, negative 15 score turn difference, Elizabeth number 10 with 9 points and a positive 13. The next game up is Ragnar versus Genghis Khan. I hope to see you back then. I am Shotlike, this has been the Noble Leaders League. Goodbye for now.